Uh, hey, hey there, this is Atul from team K29 Academy and in this we are 12 part video series I'm going to talk about how to go from a complete beginner in AWS cloud to learning every important service that you need to do including finally on day 11 we'll be talking about certifications available on AWS cloud and then day 12 is all about resume interview preparation and job preparation as well. Now uh, I'll keep it short quick Every day we are going to do 15 minutes, somewhere few minutes here and there, but objective is to do the short, crisp, up to the point session on AWS and then on, uh, but I'll be supported by some additional documents without spending any more time. Uh, and also at the end, I'll be sharing how you can get hold of this entire 12 day series. It's completely free. And also how do you share or uh, share with your friends and colleagues as well, we'll be talking about. So day one, we'll be covering about what to expect and then also some basic services, which is introduction to cloud and AWS. So on, so this is the 12 days. We'll begin with day one, which is today, which is introduction to cloud and AWS. Then day two tomorrow, the first service, which is identity and access management, including security users groups. Day three is going to be all about storage. Um, ideally, I wanted it to be on compute first, but my team have already recorded on storage. So we'll go storage, three different types of storage, S3, EBS and EFS, and then compute networking and so on that you can see to uh, avoid time I'm not going to do but everything that you need to know now anything that you want uh, to do anything extra or any topic that you want to focus on more just let me know but this is what you're going to cover everything from a database to application uh, and messaging service to configuration management uh, and so on so we, first today we'll be beginning with complete beginner which is cloud what is cloud so cloud as name suggests is a something which all the necessary infrastructure, which could be your storage, compute, networking, databases, everything running on uh, someone else's premises or someone else's services, be it, uh, and some of the big players are AWS, Azure, Google, Oracle, and so on. Uh, and these are characteristics. I'm not going to go deeper into uh, these right now, but it can be self-explanatory. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to point you to a, a, a page subsequent page which will be linked in this email also how you can get hold of that email and the links if you have if you're watching it on youtube or some other place as well so these are some of the characteristics of the cloud but the first thing you should be understanding in cloud is cloud service model there are three service models infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service and majority of time you'll be working on either an infrastructure service or platform as a service and uh, so the examples of infrastructure service is maybe your compute which is which we'll see on i think day three or day four which is your ec2 which is nothing but your virtual machines or a network which could be vpc load balancers etc or it could be a storage like block storage file storage um, so storage networking users groups individual units are called as infrastructure as service then platform as a service which also involves the roles and responsibilities or examples of platform as a service is where you get a platform as, as well. So for, so for example, your database, which is relational data services, or there's something called as a Beanstalk, which we'll see that during the compute module or something Lambda, there's a typo here, we'll fix it in the next email. So AWS Lambda or Kubernetes service, which we'll see a little bit later. And then software as a service examples are your Gmail or something which is already ready made available. All you need to do is you need to take care of your licenses, which could be your Gmail as I said, or Salesforce or Microsoft Office 365. Now I'll cover the difference between infrastructure and uh, IES and PaaS. In IES, you as a customer will have to take care of operating system, whereas in platform as a service, your cloud vendor will take care of your, uh, your underlying platform, which is operating system, as well as the, in, the dependent runtime, which could be database services, or it could be, for example, uh, .NET or Java, or Python application server, and so on. We'll cover that as we go move forward. We'll, we'll go deeper into these, um, these three service models. If you want to read more, uh, click on this email and uh, where three service models and that email will be having the three service model where I'm going deeper into these examples um, as well that you see the benefits, all the cloud services benefits, and we'll add more documents around this as well. So that's infrastructure service, platform as a service, and uh, software as a service, which is cloud service model. 
Now, second thing you should be knowing is about deployment model. And there are three different type of deployment model main category. There are subcategories as well, but main is the public cloud, private cloud and hybrid cloud. So public cloud is something available for everyone like you and me can go and create environments or services. So example is AWS that you're probably learning in this series, but also Google and Azure and Oracle and VMware and IBM and so on. The private cloud is cloud where specific to a particular client, which is not open for others, which could be within the cloud. So within the cloud data center of AWS, a AWS has marked, set aside some hardware and a software, cloud software specific to a dedicated client. That could be a private cloud, or it could be in customer premises, private cloud, but in customer premises, so they will ship you the entire hardware and associated software, which is private cloud. Or you as a customer can build your own private cloud using some open source um, uh, cloud software like OpenStack, OpenStack and so on. So the examples of private cloud from AWS, there's something called as Outpost. From Azure, you have Hubstack and Google, you have, or Oracle, you have Oracle Clouded Customer and so on. And then a hybrid model is where you have public and private combined, um, where some customers are using both public and private. Now, how do you connect your hybrid model? You have a, this is where customer premises, and this is your, or with uh, private cloud, and this is AWS cloud using something called as direct connect, we'll be learning on networking module. Um, so if you want to know more about that, we have done cloud deployment model, which is about public private hybrid. You'll be reading more on this particular thing. And if you have any questions, blogs, let me know. We'll be publishing, I'll be putting more as well on this. Now links again, I'll tell you towards end of this video, where to get hold of all these links, as well as this video, which or this part of this series as well. Now, we are, I think, just under half of the video. And the reason I'm speaking fast is that I have a lot, like, I wanted to wrap it up in 15 minutes. I usually speak fast as well. And I want to make sure that something that is least important to you, maybe you can move a quickly or fast forward if, it's, if you already know these things. Next comes global infrastructure of AWS that consists of region, which is nothing but geographical location in which they have the data centers. And then availability zones are the data centers which we'll be using later. So maybe on day three or day two, I'm going to show you how to leverage these availability zones or regions. Uh, today at the end, I'm going to also give you a step-by-step -step guide on creating a free account so that you can practice whatever you're going to do on day two, day three, and so onwards. So that basically global infrastructure consists of uh, regions, which is a geography or countries that is divided into different availability zones, which is nothing but your data centers, which are interconnected by high bandwidth and low let high bandwidth and low latency network pipe. Um, and that gives you advantage of having high availability, disaster recovery, uh, failover, scalability, and so on. We'll see that as we move forward with the services. So that's about availability zones and um, uh, the regions as well. And again, there's something called as um, edge locations and cloud front content delivery network, which we'll be talking about as we move forward <coughs> in networking modules and so on. Now, um, in terms of high level services on AWS, AWS services can be categorized in different format or different ways, but eventually it's nothing but collection of services that you use either under infrastructure service or platform as a service, or you can build your own SaaS on top of AWS cloud. So if categories are, there are foundational services. So things like your compute, storage, databases, networking, which we'll see in subsequent days. Then your application services, which could be your email service, notification service, analytics, data, uh, analytics deployment, configuration, uh, and so on. Then on top of that, you have a deployment and configuration management, which you'll be seeing when we go into the DevOps modules as well. So let's begin again. I'm going to keep it high level for now. And, and as I said, I have a limit of 15 minutes, um, but I think it will be good overview, good recap for you on covering these 12 days as well. So first is identity nexus management, which consists of roles, users, groups, policies that and that will dictate who can do what and and how. Now, later on at the end, I'm going to give this free class 
on that free class you'll be talking about um, we'll be creating a account which will be root account and from that root account you can create some additional users which we call IAM users identity access Man management users and we'll go a little bit deeper into these things on day two where we go focus more about identity access management now second ideally you should be looking at maybe compute or compute is nothing but your virtual machines and these or okay uh, let me remind uh, compute is something which gives you a memory and CPU for processing that comes in different shapes and options so you have a EC2 which is your virtual machines you have EKS which is Kubernetes implementation on AWS which we'll see on maybe when we look at uh, the compute and module lambda which is your serverless which we'll see a little bit later then you have a Fargate which is a serverless implementation of your containers and Kubernetes which we'll see and then elastic beanstalk which is your web app which could be dotnet java python etc which will again see that um, which comes under platform as a service which we'll see a little bit later on day i think compute module so these are some of the services which probably might be here uh, elastic kubernetes service eks overview everything you have lambda and uh, the beanstalk and i think ec2 should already be here uh, one one of these links which i've i've given here so open click on these links on day one of your email how to register we'll talk about a little bit shortly then that's my compute then comes storage now storage typically comes in three shapes or three types one is called as block storage where you do the static or your files images backup and so uh, and movies etc that's block storage which is s3 we'll see that i think on day three we'll be looking at oh, sorry that's object storage my mistake sorry that's objects storage which is your s3 which is your where you store all these images movies files etc your s3 then you have a block storage where data is being written in block by block for your virtual machines for your databases and so on which we'll see that again uh, this is block storage elastic block storage is how do you attach how do you build how do you attach to the virtual machines again we'll see that on then you have file storage which is your uh, the file share or, uh, or multiple machines using the same underlying file system um, which is shared across multiple machines file storage which we'll see again EFS or FSX on the storage module so these are the three options available for storage you can read out by clicking on this link on going and reading more about the storage options so EBS EFS S3 and so on and then later you're going to go deeper into these services as well then there's another one which is called as devops tools which is ci cd continuous integration continuous delivery versus deployment what are the difference between these two probably we'll be covering on uh, let's say this um ek uh, the ci cd on day six we'll be covering uh, the ci cd part as well uh, in that we'll be looking at right from a uh, code commit which is a git repository code build which is building your code and putting into the deployable unit uh, then you have a code deploy to actually deploying the file and then code pipeline which is your CI CD which is end-to-end -end CI CD but then apart from that you also have things like configuration management cloud formation which is your infrastructure as a service tool for uh, automation as well and then your databases um, so databases is actually different databases and data analytics which we'll talk about um, in upcoming on I think day six or day seven now before we go today I want you to give a task and say create a free account so by going to this account if you already have uh, then good if you don't have go and create a free account because we are going to use that from day on day two onwards we're going to show you uh, these some of these services as well so create a free account put it in the chat window and if you're new to this go to this URL uh, oh put in the command come com, uh, the video and saying you are you have you have an account or you were able to create an account or if you any problem let me know and then for this entire 12 day series go to this url ketonacademy.com forward slash aws01 and say this 12 day preparation you'll be i'll be sharing on it every day basis one by one on this email to you so click on uh, your first team email address and the phone number drop down your country specific because when you send me the phone I'll give you uh, add your phone number we'll be putting it to, into a whatsapp community so that um, any further additional help and guidance you know you can get it in uh, that community so with that this is atul from team ketone academy do let me know what do you think about this series 
any suggestions every day i'll be constantly improving this series based on the feedback any topic that you enjoy what topic you want um you want to go a little bit deeper into out, out of all these topics um also make sure you create a today's task which is create an account and let me know in the comment section you have done it that way i know you're making progress I also say that this is being consumed so i can go deeper and deeper into all these device sessions with that this is atul from team k academy uh, thanks for listening to me i know i want to make sure that your time is wisely used uh, so give the feedback so i can redo these videos and improve on these videos based on the feedback that you're sending with that i'll see you on day two talking about identity and access management users groups policies accounts etc as well take care and bye for now